Then we go. Sun tax on blue. Plane shield wall. I'll bring the score in as well. Okay, so this matchup is a let's say interesting. Okay, because there is quite limited control for this shield wall deck. Uh, there's some locks, which the good thing is the aristocrats they don't have a self purify. Locks will be able to shut down whatever they want. You do have a Xavier Lemons for the coup if you're able to get a chance to banish that. Boiling oil is here, I guess, but you want to use it quite quickly, otherwise, Dame will quickly get uh, out of reach. I guess Travel Grasses can also be used as a bit of offensive six damage, and there's the Wolf Spain as your solo toll punish. So maybe more control than I was kind of giving it credit. We'll see how far that goes. There is also the double draining secret service, which is able to protect against status givers that Cat Burger will be playing out here. Okay, and we see that Dandelion is getting that little bit of protection immediately. But Redanian Secret Service, uh, well, it's a dangerous job, so it dies in a spy versus spy war. And we see that after successful infiltration, the mage infiltrator jumps back to Neil God. We see that uh, Irinova is getting buffed from it. Yeah, that's the only card with the buffs. Uh, can't see interesting. Interesting. We we see the Griffin Witcher at five power and synergizing pretty well with Crystal Skull. A shame I have mm. yeah, unfortunate for the Danes. The there you go. Uh, I mean, unfortunate for the Danian Secret Service to jump out like this. Uh, maybe no, would have been useful later on. And that's because, yeah, the Mage Infiltrator killed the first one, so that, that's it for Danian Secret Services now, they're all out of the deck. Yeah, you could use this to go to the Poison, but that will also get rid of the Shields, so Windholm not looking as great after that goes through. We see more buffs on Fall City, the, the unit with the... with the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like it, because there is no sort of Vincent or any of yeah. that kind of, toll, like, direct Toll Punish. Torrenches are all in poisons for our uh, cat burger, so the boots and the Siri Nova are quite safe. So I was also not not a play for Tempo Pass, uh, only one active engine that was poisoned, so yeah, we see Kantex going below below 7 limit. And also the Griffin Witcher is getting that whale that uh, would be lovely after the adrenaline hit, but uh, yeah, the round ends prematurely for that to happen. So quite a few engines thrown away here, but uh, more to come on the side of shield wall. And I think there is not enough control in the shield wall, although there is uh, quite a few cards. To just take a long round against Status New God. Yeah, and yeah, I think with like the Keldar as well, you plug your board quite a bit. The bleed would be expected. Do we see Masquerade Ball immediately? We actually do. Not trying to grid it out. Uh, So, what do you think you do here as Antiox? Do you play into the ball? Uh, try to dine and wine the aristocrats? Or do you just pass and say, I'm not going to accept my invitation to the party? You might uh, just drop full city. Oh, not full city, city, Nova, <laughs> sorry. And yeah. then, then uh, look at it. But Void and Oil might be trading okay here. You just get another aristocrat out of them, or another poison. So, and yeah. uh, to note this, yeah, the Sangreal is also a purify. 
it will go super tall on that one unit, but it can get rid of a poison. <laughs> okay, so finally, or well not finally, are we in the second location? Second artifact is landing on the board as well, so deck manipulations uh, bound to happen in Nilfgaard. There, of course, was a line of uh, insta poison, but I don't think Edberger is uh, concerned too much about those not connecting. Although, okay, at the moment the poisons are quite lacking and he doesn't have Philip as well. Looking at the handling, there is a six damage in trial, there is a lock. So, yes. you can deal with yeah, with a few things, I and I think that for for that Tiri uh, Nova to be at 17, it's quite a bit of tempo, so you, you yeah, can definitely. probably slam it and stay ahead. Yeah, the Cantarella is the known top deck, probably wanting to keep that with the Odd Fiend towards the top of the deck. To oh, actually put the Cantarella to the bottom, interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now Neil's God is sitting up. Uh, notably, Cat Catburger is not trying to get uh, away with playing bronzes. We've seen Masquerade Ball, we've seen uh, uh, Edna and Rosa, and now Emir is also landing. So, yeah, that false city I mentioned. Uh, Ah, why is it false Siri? There is no false Siri in the Cantarella Quad Yorkium, but yeah, the true Siri is uh, landing on the board, but it only gets ahead by one. It's also nice for Thirsty Dame to see that Siri uh, Nova is gaining statuses. So, Thirsty Dame is just uh, boosting self. Yeah, now that Thirsty Dame is out of range of the Trial of Grasses. But yeah, I think Xanthiax is not likely to catch up in this round. So yeah, I didn't want to uh, com commit that removal, probably saving that for later. We do see Keldar, probably because it is like the best imposter target for Catburger here. So you'd rather just get locked out in this round rather than uh, provide a good leader in the following round. Yeah. Do you ever beautify Kildar with Sangreal? Mind it. They will play for a lot of points. The Sangreal being a special will give you an additional proc on your Kildar. And uh, that kind of point gap. I mean, it kind of depends what will be played here for Catburger, but it's going to be pretty significant. Although, you might instead opt to use the uh, Sangreal to protect the damn sorceress. Uh, maybe a, a Sangreal and leader commitment could get you a card back. Yeah, on the next order, uh, Hubert is also jumping out. So Xantiax is probably considering does he want mm. uh, those five extra points of carryover? What is the unit situation? Uh, quite a few of them. So should be fine. Of course we can just see the the thin and then the golden necker flying trying to trade, but yeah, that doesn't uh, look too good honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just not worry about the poison. Instead, decides purifying the Keldar is more important. Uh, but with the active infusion, uh, this would require Xanthiax to kind of play into this a little bit more to protect the Keldar from that 12 damage on the pass. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Catbug is basically ahead right now. So that leaves uh, what? Philippa is the only like serious engine that you can deal with using the trial of the grasses. So we either see the Thirsty Dame getting killed here. I don't. Yeah. I still don't think. I don't know. We go for all in. Okay. okay. 
feels aggressive. Not a bad wolf thing. I guess just a ranger would be the witcher of choice. A wounded monster is deadlier than you might think. And we see the kill that protected here. Uh, no pinks available at the moment for Catburger, no bleeding. Playing the Yoki in the same road denies the Kodar an extra spawn. Finds a tenant turncoat. Not the best kind of pull. You'd have loved maybe an additional uh, poison uh, or like a servant or something perhaps. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It also gets him a ping, but when his spine went to something else, then the killed her. But that ping would come next turn anyway, so yeah. So Joachim is uh, in Santiago's graveyard now, but uh, considering we've seen the uh, Cantarella somewhere there, I'm not sure how much of a rotation was done. I shall slog them into submission. I'm pretty sure Cantarella should be, especially the Joachim things, should be in the draws. Okay, so the shield is getting popped. Uh, what's this sequence? Uh, the infusion says once both players passed. So yeah, bleed, so bleed the bleeding will through. trigger mm -hmm. beforehand. But uh, <laughs> looking at the points currently, does it even matter with Yorkia with uh, Emir's potential uh, steal as well but yeah, yeah. We'll i think we only had a steal on the back row which would have given that keldar another turn to proc okay. so, yeah, mm. kind of would have cancelled out there okay Beringer does have a friendly witcher on board so not going to completely suck uh xavier lemons it's kind of too late to be banishing things i think but it's as good as a maxi which is the only remaining card in deck here for some yeah. Those cards not achieve much, and here we well, see. Does Yoki now? What is it yeah, want? nice. If only. No. So this is Roderick yes. into Cantarella, Spy into Spy. Sadly, no. Yeah, three spies in one turn. Sadly, no payoff on the board yet. But there is the seditious aristocrat that. Uh, capitalizes on those spine attacks later on. We do so nice shield means the who is going to hit the shield rather than actually damage the Yorkie. Ken Burger probably is not going for the random Cantarella, knowing that all the good stuff is already potentially <laughs> out, and you don't want to hit uh, Berengar if your opponent misses that. On principle. No, and the other thing to keep in mind here is that the Philippe, there's no vampire at all in Catburger's deck. Yes, Philippe does not have the zeal. So it has to be played quite early here. You can decide whatever you want to be, maybe the next top deck with your uh, Yoki. Okay. Yeah, but sadly for Philippe, he is a very toxic card if it stays but uh, that happens quite rarely for him so uh, quite quite a big seditious aristocrat and also pretty nice leader for the imposter with all the spine statuses on the front row is it enough against the berengar berengar of course is uh i think yeah. I mean, yeah, the imposter leader plays for more than the Berengar and the seditious aristocrats. I uh, should put all well, the aristocrats over the edge here. Just some additional spying and bleeding. He's up. We are no, I guess the something. movement choice doesn't matter too much. The yeah, so Berengar is nice, but uh, having that big city for Imposter and some buffs 
makes a city bigger than Berengar and the engine. The seditious aristocrat is just too big to handle, so status Neil got check. Still pretty good. Okay, so we got Cat Burger on blue this time around against Anti Axis Neil God. That was a Rentry one and uh, Skellige's self wound. So you probably know what to expect more or less in terms of the of the place, but uh, let's see how much uh, Swole Blood is capable of. Uh, Painting the unit count when you got. No ship is no problem for the small blood priest. It can just uh, work with the gin as well. I mean, it's not nearly as good uh, going for a gin rather than a ship, but, but yeah, you take what you can get. It's nice to have a proactive play that doesn't leave your card at 3 power. Not like it matters too much in this case, but uh, nonetheless. So we do see that uh, Xantiax uh, has a uh, lock and then he could have played more of them, but uh, probably have uh, other plans for those locks, not throwing it out immediately. Yeah. And look, the, the priest is only a one point per turn engine currently. Yeah. Should be better off setting up your own engines, anyways. But especially since the light cavalry is quite bad later on when stuff like Drago Turtle, all geared, and so on are hitting the board. Yeah. So we see Xantex play for your carry over and then for thinning. And a little bit of tempo, of course. Uh, Blightmaker combo is still pretty. <laughs> Pretty tempo eh? uh, a couple of years Just after the after the release. Pink, that pink. leader was not necessary to get ahead there, I believe. But uh, yeah, it does decide to go for it. And yeah, here comes the Orgy. This actually does work nicely. The priest also can't be damaged by the light cavalry. The response okay. is a rune mage. Do we get a lock from the rune? No. Ooh, servant could have been spicy if there was already a lock. But otherwise, mm, just go for no. a second light cavalry despite it not looking amazing right now. Hmm? Or, okay. strength, the cat birders uh, deck is running on aeromancy, but why not try to infiltrate anyway? Maxi is uh, playing for six, but there is plus two engine on Skirge's side now. So if you want, you can tain with Blightmaker. If you want, you can just commit a leader charge. Okay, I think it is worthwhile to just get the Maxi through here. Yeah. So we see Even that Tris, need to use a leader. Tris is buried and Mage Assassin will be a Mulligan. But you you see that second Renfrey gank is at the bottom, so maybe it was a keep. Yeah, it's a bit interesting because like the Triss is really, really good on a bleed in particular. If you're able to just slam your Renfrey's gang a couple of other higher power units. Triss can play for huge points and really force some of the bigger threats out of the Skelliger plan. Okay, we see the shuffle happened and Triss arrives uh, immediately. While, yeah, also the... Where is it? The Infiltrator has done its job one time at the very least and maybe it happens yeah. more. Depends on the maxi. Yeah, this hand is uh, not good for Catburger. You have, okay, you have Sigvold, sure, but you don't have access to KHR, you don't have access to Knut, you don't have access to Svalblood. That's basically, or even modern, like that's all your payoff for the Sigvold, you're missing it. So Sigvold doesn't really even matter with this kind of hand state. 
Yeah, you're relying on priests and draws to try to keep you in this. And uh, if Xanthiax can't sniff the blood, they should just be pushing super, super hard. Okay, so the engine started without the priest this time around. Totem is uh, okay to activate the Drakkar. But yeah, if your engine combo is uh, getting locked and such, then you kind of are playing four five point bronzes most of this round. <laughs> And as you mentioned, yeah. uh, your gold engine is uh, not doing much. And we see a leader charge committed, so I'm trying to maximize the points. I, th I think you definitely need to maximize those points to have some chance of staying in this. Xanthiax might sort of change how they play because the threat of the Svalbard uh, can turn the tides quite a bit here. Notice how Xanthiax's board is going a little bit wider than Cat Burger, mm -hmm. which does make the blob quite uh, powerful. Especially with them playing next here, something like a slave drive would create two units, one of them being quite low. Uh, you could lock the priest, um, but then you'd need to draw your second lock to be able to deal with later threats in the round mm -hmm. three. At the moment, your impression might be that the opponent is just trying to preserve their good cards, and yeah, we actually get a pass yeah. here, so Cat Burger just needs to <laughs> to find a card, he's okay with throwing away. Yeah, and it should just be the max. You're getting five points on the Priest Recall combo, an extra three points clicking your Bear Abomination. So yeah, Max, you should yeah. definitely do the trick. So, yeah, Cat Burger finds himself uh, in a position when he can play uh, basically a carryover card here. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Dross. Infiltrator is and amazing, no being on the top side of the deck once again. <laughs> yeah, it's done its job. But I gotta say, Cat Burger, you, you're so happy with that pass. It's just looking at your hand here, looking at how set up the front row was for Xanthiax going into that Tris Meteor Shell. You would have been screwed if the bleed was continued, but going with round three, you have a chance to actually find your key golds. Yeah. Maybe Maxi could have helped with that. And yeah, we'll see how it all goes down. Yeah, now it's interesting if Chris will find a similar value or not. Should be able, especially if Ramon is coming and... Well... Yeah. There was a Maxi but play, the... but the shuffle happened, uh, we don't know. Yeah. We don't see a Ramon. Okay, so Oniromancy, Civil Blood uh, left in the deck for Kent Burger. Unfortunate. Yeah. Great Sword can be really nice to play, but I'm not sure if it's as great without the uh, Svar Blood to work well with it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the interesting thing is there is only one Norsk in this deck, so with the Ramon missing from hand, uh, the correct play would definitely be for Cat Burger to heatwave the Norsk as soon as they see it come out, because that would mean that the slave drivers don't have a good point slam play, and their only option would be onto these locks of the other armored cavalrys. Okay, so where there is one log, there is another, and another, and Alba can be hurt everywhere at the moment on the battlefield. So look, you and your opponent played three units, you played locks, uh, and you have more points. Should be happy. Of course, there are details like the carryover or unused uh, cards being there, but still, you should be pretty happy. I wonder if you're going to be able to maybe use the uh, cave troll to sort of kill one of your own units here to enable the Sigdreef was right. 
Because right now it's only really getting like a pre-storage recall, which is not ideal. You'd need what a ten point unit for that. Yeah. So if you want a great sword to die, of course like, trying to get Knut into the graveyard might have been yeah. better, but it's even harder. Yeah, if you're not expecting that to find the value, then you're probably better off taking just the Sigrifus right right now to get a Drakal. Ah, uh, that Vilgefortz is put in which one of the bronzes? There is quite a few. I'm I'm expecting Infiltrator to just finish its, its job. Honestly. I would not be surprised either. Okay, we see that the first guard troll day is being used with the Draco Turtle. That of course opens up Vilgefortz. Uh, but uh, if you if you know that the graveyard is bad, uh, there is no reason to activate the Griffiths right too early. So, no reason to Vilgefortz yet. You can just play your Renfrey out. Yeah, Although you, you, yeah, now you have the law. Yeah. Although the engine value of uh, ramp option is probably already quite low, so you just take the point slam, we see some damage, stratagems. Base copy of enemy unit, uh, don't think it does too much here. I mean, unless Sigvo would, would get 4 boost with the Triss, that is 11 points. Mm, yeah. I actually think that might have been the best uh, choice, depending on how the strategy is. Uh, actually, if there's magical arms, stratagems is probably still the correct play. Okay, so Skellige quite far ahead. Uh, we do oh. see the scroll probably hunted for. You cannot really. I mean, you can get Ramon yeah. over a Vilga Forts or a Triss, like, that's not that great. That doesn't sound too great, yeah. Uh, otherwise, the Nausicaa is just better than any Bronze Soldier in your deck. So, yeah, that's why I'm not convinced Stargems was really Yeah, I like that your amazing. mention that uh, yeah. the copy on uh, Sigvald, Great Sword even, might have been better. Oh, actually, yeah, Great Sword is yeah. 10 points. Yeah, no, no, yeah, just go for that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that would have been 15 points. That would have been pretty insane. Would it 50? Yeah, it is. Yeah, especially since you already have like a uh, uh, cavalry on the board, the heat wave would be playing for 10 either way, and extra value from the removing unit increase. So, it's not like you are activating Geralt in that case. So yeah, the Reaper's right is still waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, a decent target to come. Yeah. It's not every day that something gets brought out of the graveyard. So no. might, might as well make it uh, worthwhile, but by the looks of it, uh, nah. Yeah, and yeah. If, if you're expecting that Reaper's right, you should just be taking the Triss. That's yeah. probably sort of the correct play. Um, even maybe against the Svar Blood, that's still the correct play, because a blob coming down, I think, would kill the Slave Driver off regardless. Do we have any math players yeah. in chat, guys? Who do we expect to win here? Because, ah, uh, Theresa brings it close. But Skerige still has a lot of unused power. You get this, to smack uh, the 12. Uh, is it worth it? Over the 8. I, th I think it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. because the damage kind of turns into boost onto that armor. Although, maybe not, because yeah. it dies, and it's still worth it, because, yeah, 12 damage compared to maybe 6 from something ah, there else. there we go. The is so kill it. right also got activated okay, that's quite nicely nice. with the leader charges combined okay. with the totem. So, Vilgefortz is playing for 24 minus the unit, but there is the land. 
Yeah, I don't think there was a better unit as well because the berserkers wouldn't turn. So yeah, yeah, all would have been four, I think. Okay, points. Okay. GG. Xantiax takes game number one for himself, and it's one one now in the series. Get uh, occasional fireball stream, and he will be playing tomorrow. So some pros who are not, are not competing uh, day in day out anymore, are still participating in events. Uh, but yeah, now to the game number three. We we already seen. Uh, Shield wall, it gets another shot. Now against the bounty. Non golden necker bounty as a reminder. Witch finder and heal family is present. So let's see if uh, if the shields and purifies and control is enough yeah, to avoid this. getting demolished by the bounty yeah, hunters. So Importantly, in terms of total punish, there is a heat wave, and I believe Menge, yeah, Menge, sorry, Graydon, Graydon is in hand, so, so two important total punishes to be playing around here for Xanthiox. We'll see how that unfolds. Yeah, and the first annoying thing is on the board, then the line is uh, getting away. Wield, so some carryover is starting to build up. We see that uh, Griffin Witcher is the top card. And let's see if we'll see Sirinova getting those uh, manually added hand buffs now. Once again, she finds. Nah, Kelder is being protected instead. You shall never surrender! Yeah. I think it's yeah, wise to protect the Kelder. Not too many coins available for Cat Burger at the moment. I'm not sure. It, the Temper Pass could be a very real possibility. Like, I don't know how uh, Cat Burger would really catch up with all the smoke coming down. Problem is, you would really want to bleed here as Northern Realms, but. Yeah. That would also give you a chance to just, you know, play the super low tempo like what we've been seeing. Literally hasn't played a unit yet. Okay, so a little bit of carryover. The money was gathered for Tamara to... Yeah, a lot of people probably haven't seen this card ever or only in the deck builder, but uh, Tamara Stranger is being added by the Cat Burger to his bounty list. So we see the buffs going through the hand and also the deck. Nothing too Opting important. Opting not to go for the tempo pass. Gives a chance for Cat Burger to get out of the round here. I expect it to be taken. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's instant pass here because uh, that would be your leader and probably all your win cons uh, spent here to try and catch up. But yeah, we must be seeing some sort of bleed here. Don't think uh, Northern Realms can allow themselves to just take a long here, even with the control. There is candle, and candle renders most of your control, kind of useless. Yeah. Also, the boost from Tamara helps as well to get stuff, say, out of boiling oil range. Maybe it's still susceptible to the trial of grasses, but yeah, candle can just help with that additional little problem. All as one. But yeah, this is one of the units that is quite annoying for the bounty. Like without Graydon, you'll have to spend extra coins and whatnot, and even now bounted up. If beautified, it's my 
just have to be an early leader onto it. But without the bounty, I don't think there's a super efficient way to get through the shield. So, of course, there is uh, Purify still available. That bounty is getting reapplied. Maybe Ming. Oh, yeah, Graydon. <laughs> Great, and it might just this have to be the way to answer the portals. I don't see how damage would be able to punch through the shield and the resulting two boost the popping it would give. Little does get Burger no though, but uh, I think he's about to find out that uh, damn sorceress is uh, stuck in the deck. So, if you're not seeing the damn sork here, you might be. You're reading oh, into the situation. There might be a golden necker. We've seen it highlighted, yeah. but not sure about that yet. Maxia has been played, so if it wasn't a shuffle, I wasn't paying much attention to the Maxi. But it very well could mean that the golden necker, like uh, Xanthias, wouldn't know what they're going to be getting. Okay. No delay in grade and comes, uh, no tribute, just destroys uh, the immortals. So the name was just a propaganda by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, we do see the Golden Maker oh, being played anyway. Media Keldar is pretty sweet. Decree can get you that Siri Nerva set up. Another scary thing which Bounty isn't going to have a nice way to get through. Uh, could even just threaten the Adept here, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's quite nice. Um, we protect uh, Keldar here with the shield wall. You kind of shoot. Mm. There probably is some math on uh, do I just waste another leader charge, it's uh, not like you get too much out of it afterwards, job, but uh, not yet. <laughs> and we see the real menace. Problem for that menace at the moment is that it's at 6 power and there is no candle to save it. Mm. And uh, yeah, a child of the grass is killing the executioner there. Would give the card an additional proc, which would be quite scary. Um, there is also a little. I was thinking in my head. I'm a bit hesitant whether you should actually boost the card here. I guess it helps you play around the damage from the leader, but it does make it the tallest unit, which means which finder gives it the bounty here. You could, yeah, just uh, play out the, yeah, try the grasses offensively to kill the executioner. Maybe an argument to go for the defensive sun girl. Like, that would kind of give a very juicy heatwave target where the heatwave in hand. Yeah, this is not an evolution bounty, so we've seen the, we see royal decree and indeed heatwave would have been too scary to play into. Candles still are not on the board, so if your concern was just the killing the spenders, the offensive spenders, yeah. you can continue doing that. And that's exactly what we see. Sadly, no more Witcher Adept, uh, or Witcher students to be transformed into the Adepts. Ping, 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 ping. And bounties ahead. Buy one, but that is all you need here. Does have the Siri Nova as the carryover, but that's maybe not going to be enough if you're up against Ignatius and the brute with the bounty having the last say. Yeah, 18 and already. What, 13 plus money? And you're not doing anything about that candle. Ok, 
Candle at the moment is giving four. Oh, not at the moment. After the changes, is giving profit four. Uh, you need to spend price with the candle here yeah. to get ahead. Which kind of sucks because spending twice would only tie you up. But you, you definitely want to get ahead here, I think. The other thing is the hand here is not. That amazing for Cat Burger. There's the Menge with no follow up, Confession Extractor, and the Decree, which, if you need Decree, could fetch you the Ignatius or the Brute. But yeah, Cat Burger kind of just struggling for the raw points if we see this round continuing a little longer. Whereas raw points is exactly what Xanthiax's hand is good for. Between that, Berengar for 12, the Sangreal also playing for 12 if you, say, use your leader to get the shield protection through. Yeah, if you'll have to yeah use that royal decree it becomes a little bit dodgy for your finding painting the payoff cards uh, you mm. need to find uh, either two of them or octavia okay so do we do we see royal decree into octavia immediately yeah no chances taken and you Probably should be safe. It's not personal. Like trading the last the... card or the last card of your opponent. Yeah, you can just toss Ignatius out if need be, and that should be fine. But the other good thing with the Octavia here is it is a more consistent spender than the candle. Not as efficient if you've not been killing any units, but it does do the trick if you just need a little spending. However, there is the one power secret service if you really need. You can maybe use your leader to get that kill to enable the Octavia to be a little bit scary on the final turn if needed, but it's not required. Either. Yeah, th this is the story of uh, Bleeding Bounty when they have uh, yeah. the means of uh, fighting for, for the round win. You basically bleed out everything but their finishers. And looking at Xantiax's draws here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if your shield infusion is getting broken. Bad. Yeah, actually, the Sangriel, I don't see it being very good. Uh, actually, no, no. You can use the Sangriel on the Griffin Witch, ah, so that okay. will resolve Yeah, that locks up. That's the but best case scenario. There is yeah, no I don't way to kill it. it. Yeah. Especially uh, protected um, one. Yeah, okay. Leader's only at 2 damage, by the way. Mm. So it hasn't been refreshed that strongly on the side of the bounty. Okay, then your cards are uh, playing for some value. Of course, uh, Cat Burger, seeing that the entire deck has been drawn out, uh, would prefer not to buff anything too tall to play around the Wolfsbane. Yeah, I assume we keep Ignatius for the last say because the brute is only going to be playing up to 13 points. The rest of it will be uh, profiting by 8 right now. else was there? Caleb Menge as a threat potentially. That Xantex oh, should be considering. The there is, uh, yeah, n no damage. Uh, you cannot uh, instantly put a unit at one power and purify your Griffin Witcher to try and snipe it. So unless I'm missing something, no need to buff anything. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you care if like any of these die. Really, you, sh you should be fine for spending. Mm. I mean, maybe just spend two on the street urchin just to be on the safe side, but then you kind of lose uh, value on not being able to spend the candle uh, with this card. Oh yeah, you get you get a ping, 
you get another one killing potentially one of the two two powered units but that shouldn't be devastating these uh ramshackle cards for xanthiax i've been playing for quite a bit of points right now 30 point gap and uh wolf spain will be decent sort of negating some of the value of the brute but it will still be giving over eight profit Okay, and uh by the way cat poker did miss heat wave right now yeah <laughs> would have been pretty nice but there is no tutoring for that so there is a shield for ya And Wolf's Bane reset. Uh, Wait, is this a tie? Uh, once the leader still too, right? Boop! There we go. Quick mass from Lemon from the other side of the world. And uh, <laughs> there we are. And the room. Nice. Yes, uh, I was choosing my wording quite pro uh, yeah, properly, and it was on purpose. Yes, oh, uh, I hope that Burger will decide to not fail to draw the heat wave this time. We already see it is in hand, so a lot better for start. <laughs> yeah, it does find the Tamara Strangers. Well, uh, I'm curious if Xanthiax is going to go for the similar style of play of just going for four cards and then passing in this round. Or maybe we will see the attempted tempo pass. Yeah, did find uh, Dandelion once again, so the carryover starts to build up. There are two slanders in hand, but no hysteria for Catburger, so can't lead with the same style of playoff, just killing the. Uh, Secret Service straight away. Mm, buffing Windhelm of Artery is probably not the best for Dandelion's target. Mm. But not much you can do yeah. about that. It's not the worst. If you're able to get it up to a semi-decent level where the bounty can't kill it in like one turn, it gives you a chance to kind of re-enable it. Yeah. I suppose uh, that's all right just, to boost a little. I suppose that's just playing into the heat wave target, but uh, you, you are giving something anyway, so might as well. Look, I, I'm not convinced this, the wind helm would necessarily like if the wind helm gets heat waved, you're probably happy, yeah, because then whatever yeah. you say the Sangreal on is safer. So more or less similar moves, but yeah, not 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 exactly the same. With uh, bounty having different kind of hand this time around. We did see the wind home in the round one, I think, last game, right? Uh, yeah, might have been. Uh, so having that not in hand may give Xanthiax a bit more engine power later on. Because yeah, I don't think they needed to play all that stuff to get such a huge point gap if you were just going to play down to six. But a different style of play here, Siri Nova coming out. This will have resilience now for the round two, not the round three. Will help getting that bleed a little bit stronger. Yeah. Maybe and the question for Cat Burger is, do you want to purify full Siri? Because last time Kurt played for quite quite a few points purifying the witch finder yeah so if if you are sure you can uh, protect uh, witch finder from damage and you you can never be sure with the wolf's bane being a card but yeah uh, nr is also playing double lock so one purify is not exactly enough he does opt to use the cut on this post series uh. Or maybe it was a Siri Nova, but now it's lesser resilience. It has become a false Siri. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Well, see there. You cannot trust her. No, you cannot. Especially while playing in Slave. But that's... That's something from 2023. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so last year, man. <laughs> so Lemon's just coming out. It doesn't really matter getting rid of the slam from the graveyard. So, sure, may as well. I like how fast Cat Burger finds the pass button in those situations. Like 20 points as a bounty play. Nah, no, I'm not trying to catch up. I'll need to either leader or just, yeah, spend my win cons. Okay, so this Windhelm got to 9 power. As you mentioned, makes nice. it easier to restart. It's not Because it will get its grace immediately, right? And it doesn't matter if it gets damaged below 10 once it has the grace, so the order is unlocked forever, right? So mm. it would need to be killed straight away, or you can just use the order to get another shield, get another 2 boost, and yeah, make it a lot harder for Cat Burger to deal with. Oh, yeah, we've seen that. This time, God can be combined with the damn Zork as well. A cat burger is, uh, well, missing both Witchfinder and Octavia Hale makes yeah. it a bit harder for him to decide what to use the Royal Decree on because last time he kind of needed that uh, Octavia to guarantee the draws. Yeah, and the witch finder was really important early on for securing the bounties. So it does go for the witch hunting. So yeah, kind of banking on. Uh, that's that's why I kind of not sure about this because yeah, it just gets locked. Your cart is out, and now you are not getting too much out of it. So, pretty neat purge there. Yeah. Although, is it really that good slander would have basically played for better? You would have gotten three coins instead of for damage. Huh? What is it? It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, maybe it wouldn't have mattered anyways for the Purify, because there is the second lock drawn in Xanthiax's hand regardless. I guess it just would have given the Witchfinder one extra bounty it can give. So, yeah, you see the damn Sorcerer's coming down, forces the Graden out to stop the damn sorcerer's gone, Immortals, yeah, in the graveyard. To the <laughs> so this looks like a heat wave target, but then you can, like last time, Xantiax dodged the heat wave on the Griffin Witcher, that was a 22 or something power. So this time around, he, he, he still would probably take the same line because otherwise the cart is dead. But uh, now, if yeah. he sees that heat wave out, he is much, much happier. And that, that, that's the thing, because with the scoundrel thinning a cart out, God Neck will play three. The remaining five, you're forced to draw into. So now, now there are two engines that are quite scary. And are protected by the shields, so you can you can hit wave any of them, but first we see that ah wait, there is enough money for that with the leader as well if necessary. Well, it doesn't even need a leader. No yeah, that, that's what I mean. If necessary it would have uh, played for what? Yeah. A lot of damage. Really nice. Saves that nine damage for I guess a Griffin Can't Witcher. Uh, the other thing to note here is Baringer is still in deck, and uh, there's a suspicious lack of witches remaining if that ends up being played round three. So Xanthex might really need to find the Baringer in the 50 50 from the Golden Necker, otherwise, it's. I mean, location yeah, gives a witcher as well, right? So you can just combine. Yes, it. but. Uh, yeah, but you're playing that against one bounty. Is by mm -hmm. bounty. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, also with, yeah, with your Griffin Witcher here, you probably want to take the Golden Necker because this would also be your best chance for the Sangreal. Or you could. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose you are all in, in but th that's basically what it was last time around as no, well. No, 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 no. You, can't just you are 
having not much power in round three but uh, yeah it was enough to guarantee a tie in the yeah. previous game but yeah we we talked about the heat wave okay so yeah, what's the, the best time is the easy bit getting down to another yeah, this shoot. item will be quite nice if it gets a chance to transform next turn surprise the damn sorceress isn't really being clicked here And yeah, the Witchfinder being chosen rather than the Octavia means Catburger is really missing out on that point slam potential. Yeah, you have the 17 point heat wave on the Windhelm, but even if you do that, you're still down by like 30 points. At least there is a huge uh, bounty yeah, on this Baron. The bounty is amazing. So, so yeah, Vita is doing nine. <laughs> Kills the damn sword, yeah. gets a couple of points, and that's enough to get a full bank again. It's a shame that uh, Ignatius is limited at 18. Imagine him being uncapped, growing to 30 power and beyond. Yeah, that, uh, that that's not something I want to see, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are innocent souls in Gwen that forget how bounty worked and you can bounty multiple units, for example. Those were the times. Uh, that's um, pretty sure PTSD though, for anyone that does properly remember. Speaking of, it's... Maybe Catwitch will be having PTSD to that decision on the decree. Because I, yeah. I just I don't see how the Executioner and the uh, dip in, uh, Eventide Plunder will combine for enough points. Evil's not and going to even your bounty Fender that you could have combined is getting worked if necessary. Yeah, it's, it's, not, like, it's not, not like it matters too much. You cannot really bluff a Purify. Doesn't make sense. So yeah, the heat wave on on the engine could have been used a uh, long time ago. No reason. This to do plus that actually though. gives Cap a chance. I think it would have been a tour with the drugery. I'm interested in seeing the maths, but there should be enough spending here along with the plunder to let Catburger catch up. Leader is only at one damage. It was used previously, so not super amazing. Okay, so six you get Hasker for 6. And you get some coins to spend and blood money, so yeah. yeah. Now top deck mode for bounty. Maybe the other reason you want to keep the Drogri is it can lock whatever the Sangreal infuses. There is that to consider. Um, that is another way to play around it without the shield, but yeah, if you look at that point gap, I think it would have been a tour if the Drogri was played, correct? Mm, yeah, there was also. I, I think if you're trying to draw, you also. Eh. If you expect your opponent to have an 18 point unit, maybe you don't waste the leader charge here, especially with the Sangreal. So one of the two is found to the Brute uh, boost in cell by 12 as well. Yeah, it's a 19 point Brute, and with the Wolfsbane gone, uh, that is huge. That is huge. Don't mind this uninteractive play. So this is actually, yeah, between the main game and the Executioner Prophet, you can get perfect spending with the candle, so you don't even need to worry about using your bounties on enemy units or anything of the kind. Like, it'll be good, I guess, to, if you get the chance to maybe just, you know, get rid of the units, but I don't think it's really necessary. Because I, 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 I expect this to be locked. You have the last say 
if you're leader, even a card up, you have double last say, so somebody else should get through no problems. Yeah, but you only get 9, 12, uh, so 21, 23. Yeah. Uh, 23 doesn't look like it's enough to beat the 39 the cat burger is managing to put out here so yeah bounty even without the 18 point ignatius is prevailing here but that's the problem with quite a few golden necker decks if you try to 2-0 and that's not a mis successful mission Yes, this, this is already be. game five. <laughs> yeah. The last, uh, or not last, but shield wall has to win here. So it's actually the last shield wall appearance yeah, here. It, it, yeah, it's the last chance for shield wall, yeah. Oh, so many bricks. <laughs> oh, finds the Drakkar and the Priest, uh, no boiling oil for Xantiax here, but boiling oil might play a bigger role later on, so can Burkhead need to position the Sigvold correctly if, uh, if yeah. that ever comes into play. Okay, 50-50. Oh, no. Berserker just wants to to hunt, not to fight, apparently. Damn, Circa is the top deck. I expect... Yeah, I expect Santiax to push hard for trying to win on... In, and try to win on even here. You need that round control to have a chance. The problem is with the Brick Huber and the Rodanian Secret Service, uh, your hand is not super playable in this round one. You don't want to play those two bricks, you don't want to play the Golden Necker most likely. So, kind of narrows down what you actually are able to play. You can run, you can hide, but I'm gonna get you. Hmm. I didn't really catch the maxi order, so we'll figure that out uh, later, unless unless you memorized it. Uh, I I've been not very good at paying attention yeah, to maxi. I always fail at that mission, honestly. Uh, failing at it as the berserkers fail at finding that windhelm. I suppose it doesn't matter too much now, but yeah, we see that Xantiax seen the top decks. Has bricks in hand means that he can just slap Golden Necker. Easy. Oh, mental could fix. Ah, uh, yeah, also, since it's the. So, no, it doesn't go for that. I wouldn't have had the adrenaline, I suppose. But still, maybe just getting the Hubert back would have been good so it can actually start taking its orders. Okay, here comes the Blob to kind of counteract that Golden Necker. Big commitment for the Blob to be out. But if Catboker can get a pass here, I think they'll be in a pretty sweet spot. Yeah, uh, Mentor without Adrenaline is not as exciting, honestly. Might have been the reason. So, Dandelion is not uh, inspired anymore. Unless Leader charged. And quick mass on the engine, this gets plus one, uh, Windhelm is uh, getting plus two, so... Ah, wait. Okay, there was still a card to play with all the orders, I missed out on that. Yeah... Yeah, Tiny playing the keyboard from hand. Does it feel good? Also having units on the board and not having an answer for this wall blood is problematic here. I mean, yeah, missing all the locks, Svalbard just goes through. So, Golden Necker basically just trades for the Svalbard and you also lost your Huber for the additional tempo. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I think the Shield all actually lost the round control. I don't think it 
lost around one before. Yeah, the bounty was uh, given up on fighting for round one, and in the and first game, it was the Aristos who yeah got bled. So yeah, it's the first time the Northern Realms is on the back end, and it's actually kind of funny because this was the time they actually committed that golden necker in the round yeah. one. Not super amazing draws. I mean, the, the Pella is possibly going to be an MV Pella in this matchup up against the double lock. So what's left in the deck? There is no Tirinoga, yeah. and we see just up Berengar. Buff into 19. Okay, so... No... Not a believer in the engine value. There, the Xantiax is. Uh... Okay. A lot of gold's missing right now for the self wound. I can't tell what. Is it the water in there? It's a bit of a visual glitch on my end. Yeah, I'll have to wait till this is over. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Find it really squirrel. cool draws. And also your small bot is leaving the game. So yeah, this is the... I'd say this is looking really bad for Xanthiax here, apart from the few silver linings of a very good uh, lemon straight away, and the fact that it probably sticks for now means that... Uh, yeah, Catburger needs something in the graveyard which is quickly vanishing to have this to do with right now. So, on the other hand, the Neomancy is going to need to choose between the Draco Turtle the Sigvald or the old Gid. And uh, yeah. that's kind of rough. So a little bit of value uh, coming from the lemons. Of course, last time we've seen that graveyard was just activated by the Skellige player using the totem and leader charges. So there are lines for that. But uh, so yeah, having locks is quite beneficial if you are trying not to kill anything. And it's not like you have too many kill killing cards, boiling oil still in the deck by the round three. Like it and would the, have been potentially nice to boiling oil great sort and immediately delete it. As if it grows, it gives uh, more control options. The other thing uh, to me here is that with no blob being uh, available, it's very hard for Catburger to efficiently get through shielded units. So, like, let's say this Kurdar has played with a shield. You probably need to, say, combine your Care Troll and the Knut all in one turn just to kill it. So the Squirrel, I don't think, has a, any meaningful interaction with the Graveyard. Uh, so we see that uh, Sigvald, uh, Draco Turtle, are uh, being left in the deck. Is that uh, Olger to Immortal, a tall unit that can clash with things, is being brought out? But there uh, well, Olger is kind of. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, no, never mind. It's not set to the thing. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the drone can refresh the order on Scare Trolled, uh, maybe uh, open up an avenue for the Keldar to be slightly more vulnerable, um, but... Okay, decides not to lock the Orchid, maybe saying there's no rush me right now, no canoe on board, the Care Trolled hasn't been refreshed yet, if I see something like that happening, I can then just play out my locks later. Yeah, I see, suppose what? Uh, after the location, a refresh, we might see that. Yeah, like with the Peller in hand as well. Uh, even if you lock the old gear, you can still you click the Clash the same turn you get the Peller Purify. It would just make it a bit awkward if you were trying to combine it with the canoe to kill a big shielded up threat. Yeah, I think I having two locks is quite clutch for the Xantiax here. For sure. Okay, yeah, you'd love to kill the 
griffin witcher to to try and make the sangreal much worse uh, or harder to implement but yeah there is a secret service and you don't have blob to <laughs> damage and uh, yeah. kill the low units so yeah i, I... I don't think the Secret Service really needs to purify much either, so it's only real use here is getting rid of that infusion. Mm -hmm. okay, so we see that uh, a little bit of uh, wasted damage should happen here. It's a little bit. And uh, yeah, note this placement uh, with the Knut next to the Olgid. Um, having these valuable things next to each other makes the potential boiling oil a bit less good. Say if it was used to kill the Knut when the Olgid was locked. Uh, although, of course, the boiling oil is still in Xanthiax's memory. So yeah, Kildar didn't uh, manage to produce any witchers. Uh, would have been nice uh, with the lack of small blood to just uh, go white, especially with a couple of specials in your hand. One look. Yeah, and Knut is uh, nice like that, getting the order refreshed already, so when you purify, you can smack things immediately. Goodbye down. Sorceress currently Sidrif is right, only has a Spotlight Fanatic here to bring back, which is not so great. Okay, killing neutral yeah, units, although, yeah, not nothing of value would have been dying anyway. But making the totem combination with uh, a two power great sword of Knut uh, not viable. Yeah, look like, yeah, this requiring theory is maybe okay. slightly nice. Okay, it's that's bad. Room, but the totem is already used up on all the fun. That's oh, bad. Okay, that's Gold, ships, yeah, that could be a game changer Rarely here. Say the word. The canoe lets a refresh go through. What do you need? But uh, yeah, a couple of big finishers for Skellige there, Drekkar and Squirrel. Yeah. Also, yeah, like this Wolf Spain, it's not amazing. It's still better than one of these four bronzes, but yeah, Wolf Spain not so hot here. Berenger is amazing. It is kind of the saving grace here. For uh, Dantheax. I suppose it's a bit true. So does he consider... No, I was thinking, does he consider to just kill Knut? Bit of another low roll. Yeah, unfortunate there. But Knut is safe though, yeah. Now you cannot uh, finish it off since you already used your Purify. And Knut is being in by five. Actually, yeah, that click on the Redanian Secret Service played for minus two points. Which... <laughs> yeah, this Griffin Witch has really missed anything that Xanthiax would have wanted. And I think, yeah, that two point low roll here makes the difference. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm pretty... Oh. Wait, the... Wolfsbane so is uh, set in, but it's not uh, usable on all gear, right? Yeah, it doesn't no, work on all gear. Yeah, all gear is uh, can't be changed by other abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
So, gosh, those were probably two of the worst roles on that Griffin Witcher, which essentially uh, turns that game from a fairly good-looking victory for Xanthiax into a essentially snatching defeat from the Jules of